Emotional testimony today in day two of the Daniel Perry murder trial. He shot and killed a Black Lives Matter protester back in 2020. And today we heard from the fiance of that protester, among others. Jayla Washington is live at the Travis County Courthouse. She has been following this trial for us. Jayla, what's the latest? Hey, Jennifer, we heard today from the context around the relationship between fiance. Uh, Whitney Mitchell and Gary Foster and their summer of 2020 when they spent a lot of their time together going to Black Lives Matter protests. Now on the defense's side, I'm asking lots of questions about how Foster was carrying the rifle that night. Visibly upset, fighting back tears before her testimony. <laughs> Whitney Mitchell recounted the day Daniel Perry shot and killed her fiance and high school sweetheart turned caretaker. Garrett Foster. All I remember is hearing gunshots um, and, and Garrett just falling over in front of me. Oh, I jumped out of the chair. And I saw her on the ground. Mitchell says Foster got in front of her as the car sped toward them. I remember Garrett saying, Move on. She told the court Foster only started carrying a rifle after police arrested their roommate, Jeremy Lett, during a protest. Perry's attorneys say it was for interfering with an arrest. Now, Lett, also by Foster's side when he was shot, says Foster became protective after the car came at them. Said, hey, stay in the car, get back in the car, um, and sort of gestured at his gun like, you know, you don't really want to start anything right now. The defense's argument from the beginning is that Perry, swarmed by protesters, had to defend himself. Lett does admit he kicked Perry's car. I was rather upset about someone uh, driving a car through people that I cared about. But he did lie about that in his initial statement to the DA's office. Fear. I was worried. While Perry's defense zeroes in on how Foster held the gun and whether it was and threatening. Mr. Foster comes power walking oh, up to the car. The trauma of what happened is still evident and felt throughout this courtroom. Jennifer, we also got to hear from several po protesters who admit that they were hitting and kicking Perry's car after he drove into the crowd and we even got to see some Facebook messenger, some Facebook messages, private messages between Perry and one of his friends. They were talking about a couple of similar incidents to his situation before Foster was killed. Uh, take a look at this now. You hear Perry writing, I will defend myself. I don't care who is in my way. His friend then at some point says to him, don't you have a CDL license too? We went through the same training. Shooting after creating an event where you have to shoot is not a good shoot. Now, I've been speaking to families on both sides. Definitely a long road ahead. It's really emotional for everyone. Jennifer. Okay, Jayla Washington, thank you. You can follow along with Jayla and the trial in real time. We have our live updates from the courtroom with our continuing coverage at KXAN.com.